why does she do this? That's my question. She does it every single interview, and they and she's not stupid. And she does. I kid around. Uh, maybe I've said she she has a vocabulary of five hundred words, but I think they give her these prep books, and she just is intellectually lazy. She doesn't even read them. She doesn't even spend any time. And the idea is that I think I've been so nurtured my entire life of being given things, whether it was from Willie Brown to start out or the media, that the media will never cross me. And she's right because when you look at the iteration from. The first Philadelphia interview she did, well, the debate. The moderators really helped her in the debate.、And、then she did the Philadelphia interview. That was a softball. Then she went to Dana Bash. She really offered multiple choice answers for.、Her. Then she、yep. went to the Association of Black Journalists. They were baffled. They thought, "Wow, she kind of left in a huff." We did everything we could, and she still failed. And then. We went to Oprah, and that was a disaster. And I look around at these screens, Oprah. I look at who's in the room, and this is America. This is this is America. We all saw what happened, and we see what happened. Kamala was a total disaster yesterday, and at every other interview, she's been just a free fall. I don't know what the hell's going on. She can't do an interview. She doesn't want to do them. If Kamala Harris can't even prepare for a basic interview, what makes you think she can run an entire giant like America? You'd think that the person who is running to lead America into prosperity would, at the very least, know how to answer basic questions on how she'll improve the country. Yet she can't even do that. How is this even possible? It leaves us with only one valid explanation: Kamala Harris is simply a puppet who uses buzzwords to appeal to the radical left in the USA. You might say leadership is about more than being a good public speaker, but her track record is horrendous, as well as the vice president. She can change America right now, yet she chooses not to, because she doesn't know how to. And people are putting their faith in Kamala, despite her showing the world her incompetency, is a prime example of how far the American population has fallen. What I'm trying to make the point is that each. Each interviewer knew that the prior one had been criticized for doing T-ball interviews, and yet they they tried to outdo the other one. In other words, they were saying to themselves, "That person debased themselves by being a propagandist and trying to help her, and still couldn't help her. And therefore, I'm going to be a greater propagandist and help her even more, and I'll be famous for the one person that made her look good." And that was it. Just got it increased and spiraled. But they all knew what they were doing. And it didn't bother them. So, and her reaction to all that is, I, I'm just going to wing it. I'm not going to pick up a prep book. I'm not going to look at policy. I don't give interviews. I don't do town halls. I don't do press conferences. I don't have to. So, I don't even want to know the data about my economic plan. I don't care. You know, a normal candidate say, okay. I said I'm for wage and price controls. Tell me the date that I'm going to start, and what I'm going to say when they say, "Why don't you start now?" What is the date, and how am I going to implement it? Is it going to be nationwide? I'm going to turn it over to the states, and here's the possible questions I'm going to get. And I'm going to—they don't do that with her. She, I think they just give up, and they say if you try to prep her with the details, she gets angry because she doesn't want to do it, and she doesn't need to. And and they're right, she doesn't. Well, what I'm telling you is that. When Bill Clinton prepared, they gave him prep books and policy binders, and he went through. He memorized them in like an hour. When Barack Obama did, he could do it too. And there, they exist. And she hasn't cunning about her. She's cunning. She knows how to, you know, do the photo ops. But it wouldn't. So what she does is, from reports, is that when she has these disasters, she gets angry and she fires her staff. She blames her staff. But the whole point I'm making is, she doesn't want to read anything. She doesn't have to. She's never had to. She never did as vice president. And when she does, remember that space thing? She had actors, that little kids that were actors, and she does that.、Yes. She goes. Into a, she goes into a store to buy pretzels, and it's all been rehearsed. She has act. It's that's. It, it's kind of like an athlete that never lifts weights or never runs, and they're flabby.、It、doesn't mean they didn't have some ability, but they don't have to do anything. She's been coddled her entire life of privilege, and she, her idea is: all I have to do is say I'm middle class, I'm black, I'm a woman, and I'm left wing. 
and I can raise a lot of money and laugh and be personable and kind of flirt, bat my eyes, grin, whatever. And she's gotten by with that. And uh, that's that. That's why, remember, she was, I think we keep forgetting, she was Joe Biden's Spiro Agnew insurance policy. It was almost like 48 hours before, before he quit. They said he will never quit. You cannot put her in there. We know her. They were leaking that. You remember that. You know better than yeah. I do. They were leaking it to journalists like you that she's totally lazy. She's in app. She'll never be able to do it. And then all of a sudden, she became Cicero or Socrates. And it doesn't work because she won't, she won't do, a, she won't. I do believe she has the ability to memorize 10 talking points. I really do. When she was talking to those border pe- people, you really didn't get a microphone in there. They weren't going to ask her. Because she can't do that. And they can't do that because she's never had to do it. And, you know, I think we all have met people like that that are complete constructs. They're just empty zombies. Hansen highlights that Kamala Harris's lack of preparation leads to poorly executed interviews. This situation is made worse by a media environment that often provides her with easy questions instead of challenging ones. As we head into a critical fall season, These patterns raise serious concerns about her ability to handle complex political issues effectively. Viewers are left wondering whether she can change her approach and engage meaningfully with the challenges that lie ahead. Will she be able to step up and communicate her policies clearly, or will she continue to rely on her identity and privilege? As the political landscape evolves, demonstrating accountability and the ability to discuss substantive issues will be vital for her success in the coming months. But will she ever develop the critical ability to discuss solutions? Probably not, because ultimately she has no solutions, and it's evident in her run as vice president. Everyone knows she's winging it, skipping the homework, avoiding policy prep, yet they still scramble to make her look good. And here's the kicker. She doesn't care, because she doesn't need to. The numbers don't lie. Harris's approval rating was just 38% as of the last major poll, one of the lowest for a vice president in decades. Even Democrats aren't sold. Nearly half of them don't think she's qualified to be president. Harris doesn't do town halls. She doesn't do real interviews. She doesn't touch policy binders because why bother? She's coasted on identity politics and charisma, flashing a smile while avoiding the substance. Look at Bill Clinton or Barack Obama. They did the prep work. They mastered policy. But Harris? She's all optics and rehearsed stunts, like that ridiculous space video with child actors that flopped hard. She's been pampered her entire career, blaming her staff for failures while coasting on privilege. She's an empty suit, a political construct, and it's outrageous that she's gotten this far without any real accountability. Like the video, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming.